Um, certainly the events of the day have impacted our day, but a great day nonetheless, a great collection of companies. I really enjoyed walking around and meeting a number of you today, and I'm happy to have you here today. My name is Chuck Hall. I am the president and CEO of Barnett. Uh, we are a manufacturing company that's headquartered in Spartanburg, South Carolina, but we manufacture products around the world. Now I say that just to say this, manufacturing is a great, it provides great opportunities. We manufacture around the world, but we love to call South Carolina home. This is a great place to be. Our company manufactures technical textiles. Does anybody know what a technical textile is? Good. I'll give you some examples. Our fibers and yarns provide cut protection and heat protection in firemen's coats and gloves. Our fibers and yarns are used in brakes to provide brake performance, greater brake performance. They're used in air and oil filters in your car to filter out particulate matter to protect your engine. Everybody likes to ride in a quiet car to be able to talk to your friends, listen to music. Our fibers provide sound insulation to cut out the road noise and give you a, a great environment in your car. Today, renewable energy is certainly providing more and more energy in our homes and businesses. And we have fibers that go into that industry as well. If you drive up 85, you can't help but see BMW's solar panel farm. They're popping up all around the state. Our fibers are used to produce solar panels and are also used in windmills to produce wind energy. So some pretty cool products used around the world. In addition to my role at Barnett, I have the privilege this year to serve as the chairman of the South Carolina Manufacturers Alliance. And we're gathered here today to recognize and to celebrate our state's manufacturing industry with Governor McMaster. Governor McMaster knows how important the industry is in our state. It provides great jobs and great careers. I remember like, like it was yesterday, but it wasn't yesterday, and I want to tell, me, tell you how many years ago it was. But I was in school, just like some of you, thinking about what am I going to do with my career? I met with my guidance counselor, and he asked me, Chuck, what do you like? What is it that you, would interest you? I said, well, you know, I like math, I like chemistry, and I like physics. He said, think about being a chemical engineer and being in the manufacturing world. And that's what I did. And I can tell you that it provided a great opportunity for me to work and to live around the world. I've worked and lived in Mexico. I've worked and lived in Germany, and I've worked and lived in China. I've met great people, worked with great people around the world, created great products and great processes, and all because of this industry. I can also tell you that it provided a great life for my family. When I speak with students, and I wish there were more here today, I always want to leave them with this one thing. I think it's very important. The value of a company is driven by you, those who make up the company. I remember leaving Georgia Tech, if we have any Yellow Jacket fans here, um, I remember leaving tech and I thought that the value of a company was driven by the technology that it had. For example, today I would have thought that the value of Apple would be driven by the iPhone. The value of Google would be driven by a search engine. The value of BMW would be driven by the cars it produces. But I'm here to say that's not the case. The value of all these companies and my company is driven by you. And this industry, manufacturing industry, provides great opportunities for all of you and I hope you consider it as students when you're making your career decisions. So thanks for being here today. Again, a great event. I know tomorrow we'll have a lot more students and have a much more vibrant day, but great. And thank you for being here. I want to introduce a friend of mine, Andy Carr. Andy is the president and CEO of the South Carolina Manufacturing Extension Partnership. Andy? Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck, and thanks everybody for being here. Um, uh, Andy Carr. and. Uh, President and CEO of the South Carolina Manufacturing Extension Partnership, or SCMEP. Um, we work with the state's small and medium-sized manufacturers, typically manufacturers with 500 employees or less. And our job is to help them stay competitive, not only in South Carolina, but on the global stage. So some of you, you know, already you're probably thinking, is it the microphone or does this guy have an accent? Um, <laughs> Yep, yeah, um, it may sound like I'd be perfect for Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon or Lord <laughs> of the Rings. Um, I do have hairy feet, but I am not a hobbit. I'm just a little too big for that. Um, it wasn't Hollywood that brought me to South Carolina, it was manufacturing. 
I had the chance to come over here 35 years ago and very, very quickly um, realized that not only was I in the greatest country in the world for manufacturing, the US, but I was in the best state for advanced manufacturing in the US, in South Carolina. Um, that coupled with great weather, beautiful scenery, um, great food, and I do love the barbecue, as you can tell, and friendly people, I quickly realized that, you know, manufacturers in South Carolina weren't just tolerated like they were in other countries or other environments. They were actually welcomed. They were part of the community. They were appreciated and they were recruited, you know, by the states, by the towns, the cities, and the communities. Um, because manufacturers bring really, really good jobs with really good benefits, and there's usually a lot of large, um, very positive economic impacts. The good news is that hasn't changed. That was 35 years ago. Um, that hasn't changed. It's got better in South Carolina. Um, and we continue to be a powerhouse when it comes to recruiting manufacturers. Um, just consider some of the cool stuff that's made in South Carolina. F-16's been made, you know, I still call it the Donaldson Center, um, but F-16's been made in Greenville. BMW's been made in Greer. Volvo's in Somerville, and then the biggest of the lot, the 787 Dreamliner's made in North Charleston. They're all made in South Carolina by South Carolinians. Um, and then don't forget the other thousands of manufacturers that are here to support those large companies. Um, so people say to me, Andy, what's the coolest part of this job? It always has been for me, has been able to get out there and see those cool products made here. Not having to charge to, 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 to Georgia or Colorado or North Carolina, made here in South Carolina, and the high-tech machines and the high-tech processes, and the highly trained, highly educated, highly motivated people that actually make those things happen. So those machines, they're getting more and more sophisticated. Um, that's the way the technology goes. It's what we need to be competitive. But the plants, just like Chuck said, it's always about the people. Um, so never lose sight of that. So the ask is, if you're considering a program, a STEM program, a career, please consider manufacturing. Um, it's a fantastic area to work in, great opportunities, um, unlimited potential. The sky really is the limit there. So again, thanks for being here today. And I'm going to turn it over to Sarah Hazard with SCMA. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Andy. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sarah Hazard. I am president and CEO of the South Carolina Manufacturers Alliance. I want to thank the AOP Showcase Board and everyone who was a part of this great industry showcase here today for allowing us to join you. Career events like this are so important for inspiring young students, and you guys have done a really fantastic job of putting on this showcase today. So thanks for all your hard work and for letting us to be a part of it. Governor, we're glad to have you join us again to recognize our state's manufacturing industry and to our elected leaders in the room, members of the House and Senate who are joining us here today. Thank you all for your support of the industry as well. Your manufacturing is an industry that drives our economy, provides good jobs, and makes a meaningful impact in every corner of our state. And that impact is really tremendous. But what stands out most to me is how this industry positively changes communities and provides opportunities for so many individuals who are part of our world-class workforce here. To the educators who are here with us today, I want you to all know that as you continue to work with students to help them navigate their future opportunities, that the sky is really the limit for what they can accomplish when they are being a part of the South Carolina manufacturing community. So with that, it is my pleasure to introduce the governor of our fine state, Governor Henry McMaster. Governor McMaster is the 117th governor of our state, and he is a strong supporter of our state's manufacturing industry. In particular, he works very hard to build a better South Carolina for future generations. Governor, thank you for being here today and for all you do for our state. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I am just delighted to be here, and I, I tell you, I've, I've seen some of those things before, but they, they just get more and more impressive. They're exciting things out there. I just, when I was at your age in high school, we didn't have that, that kind of stuff. I mean, that, a lot of those things hadn't even been invented, much less. Uh, <laughs> 
But but that's that's the way it's going in in South Carolina. I mean, we are we are right at, at the top of manufacturing. This is a manufacturing state. The, whatever you want in the whole world, you can find it right here in South Carolina. And Mr. Carr from Scotland? Uh, often we don't realize how fortunate we are, but someone who comes from someplace else takes a look and they say, my, my, this is just great. And, and as governor, as your governor, I, I have meetings with people all over the world that are looking to invest hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars, and there's some right around the corner that are looking right now. And they say that South Carolina is different. Now, there are a lot of great places, a lot of great states, but there's something about South Carolina that's different. The chairman of BMW said a few years ago, said South Carolina is a handshake state. When somebody gives you their word, he said, I'd rather have their hand in my hand with a firm shake than their name, a signature on 100 contracts. Now, they don't say that about every, every place. And they also testify to the friendliness in South Carolina. And I tell people, you go to the local uh, grocery store or go to a drug store or stop and get some gas and you're paying your bill at a restaurant and the, the, the waitress will call you honey, sweetie, darling, dear, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Pumpkin, you know, they, they don't do that everywhere, they, but they do it here. But there's, there's something different about the people. And, and I'm a history major, I love history. And I tell you, if they had some of the movies and things about history back then that they have now, I'd have been a much better student, but I'm learning a lot more about it now. But our state is, has a strong military tradition, a strong Judeo-Christian tradition. And when you put those things together, in paradise, because remember that when the kings and queens were sending people over, you've read about them in your history books, they were going back and saying, this place that we call today South Carolina is the most beautiful place in the new world. And they were right. So you put these kind of people from all over the world, different from different places in different conditions, and you put them down in paradise, and then you subject them to wars and hurricanes and floods and everything else, earthquakes, you end up with some real people, and that's what these people around the world have recognized. So all of us here are the beneficiaries of what, is, what has been done before, what got us to this point. But I'll tell you, today, it is just wide open. People, you used to have to go to a factory somewhere way off to see that kind of equipment that y'all are programming and using right now. It is a marvelous thing. And there's no better place to, to do this than your state. We have $49 million in our workforce scholarship program at the technical colleges. If you want to go into a high demand job and you, you can't, or even if you can't afford it, if you want to go to that job, you go to that technical college. And if they've gotten demands for those kinds of the workers, you can go for free. And we're going to keep on doing that because this, our technical college system and the kind of things that you see out here, those are on the cutting edge of what's happening in the world today. No country is going to be able to be strong, exist, and keep their people safe, happy, and thriving without the kind of skills that exist in that room that we just left. And there are plenty, plenty more like it. So I remember a song, I'm a, I, I like music, and as y'all probably heard of Bob Dylan, a lot of people, you know, he writes songs, nobody knows exactly what he's talking about most of the time. <laughs> but he has, has won a Nobel Prize because of it after these years. But he had one called, called uh, Forever Young, and one of the verses says, I once held mountains in the palm of my hand, rivers that flowed through every day. I must have been mad I didn't realize what I had, and I threw it all away. So my advice, my plea to you is don't throw this away because there's opportunity right here that you're not going to find in other places. And the southern, the southeast is booming. Everybody wants to be in the sunshine. Everybody is, is coming here. So you're in the right place at the right time with the right leadership and I just want you to do the right thing because the sky is the limit for what you want to do. And I have a proclamation. This goes in the records. This is official, so here it, here it is. State of South Carolina, Governor's Proclamation. 
Whereas manufacturing is a leading economic driver in South Carolina with 30% of all jobs are tied to the industry and whose contribution to the state's total gross domestic product exceeds $200 billion annually. Whereas South Carolina has a business-friendly environment and world-class workforce that serve as the foundation for economic development and job creation. And whereas South Carolina's manufacturing industry continues to evolve in advance to make innovative products. And whereas the manufacturing industry throughout South Carolina practices good corporate citizenship every day that benefits our community, schools, environment, and so much more. And whereas South Carolina's manufacturing industry represents the hallmarks of the American spirit where pride and a commitment to excellence never waver. And whereas South Carolina's manufacturing industry requires a talented and skilled workforce. Whereas South Carolina is proud to have a collaborative education system from K-12 to postgraduate that provides the advanced training and educational programs necessary to foster the next generation of makers. And whereas the observance of South Carolina Manufacturing Month and National Manufacturing Day helps raise awareness of the achievements and opportunities of the many manufacturing facilities and their associates located throughout the Palmetto State. And whereas, now therefore, I, Henry McMaster, governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim October 2022 as South Carolina Manufacturing Month and October 7, 2022 is National Manufacturing Day throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to celebrate the economic impact, tremendous opportunities and meaningful contributions the manufacturing industry creates within the Palmetto State. Signed by me, Henry D. McMaster, your proud, happy governor on behalf of 5.2 million proud, happy South Carolinians. Young people, I have seen the future and you are it. We're counting on you. Thank you.